Hello again, Steve here. Just uh, taking a bit of a lunch break here. And I thought of something to talk about today, to share. And this topic goes straight to the Inner Genie Project. Because the Inner Genie Project is a project that I'm working on to help people to bring out their own flavor of their own inner genius, right? And to be the best they can in life. Now, you'll find that there's a lot of hucksters in the world of all sorts, right? Trying to sell you something, which is usually not in your best interest, but is in their, maybe their best interest. Try to convince you that it's in their best interest for sure. And some of these, some of this hucksterism is so incredibly pervasive, it actually feels like the right thing, or seems like the right thing. For example, the latest, well, it's not the latest, but it's been around for a while, this whole diversity, diversity, diversity is our strength, etc., etc., which is being pushed by it seems like it's a ubiquitous pushing of an idea. I've come to realize that it would make sense to me anyways, is those who are pushing it, they don't actually want diversity. They, I mean, diversity is great, true diversity. Because if you think about it, diversity begins, where does it begin? It begins with the individual, right? Because we're all different. We all have our strengths. We all have our own inner genius. We all have you know, somebody can be really great at something naturally and can develop that into a skill and at other things not so great. And somebody else beside them is the opposite. So there's a, there's a diversity of abilities and tendencies and talents right there, right? So each and every one, each and every one of us has that. But if you think about it, what is the, what do the hucksters of diversity want? If you think about it, if you really look at their actions, they always call for more government action, more diversity rules and all this sort of stuff. What's that? That's calling for more collectivism, isn't it? It's top-down authoritarianism where we all have to behave in a certain way, obey a bunch of rules and stuff. That is the, and that is the opposite of diversity. Because diversity is the, is the encouragement of the expression of all the individual values, value that people have to bring, rather. And, you know, if you look at how public schools and generally, you know, authoritarian schools run, it's everybody is supposed to be reading off the same page. And if you don't, and it's, this, is, this is especially true with boys now, if they act out, very often huge numbers of them end up on psychotropic drugs to make them conform to the, um, the authoritarian model, the collectivist model. It is exactly the opposite of diversity, right? I mean, what they're really talking about is diversity of groups, maybe. But groups don't actually exist. Groups are just um, concepts of a bunch of people. And so, you know, it, it gets the nature of, it comes with the nature of, oh, blacks are like this, and whites are like this, and, you know, orientals are like this, and so on. But what does that have to do with diver the real diversity, which is the individual flavor that everybody brings, right? You can say in the, hype, in, in the aggregate that, you know, men are taller than women, but you can't say that all men are taller than all women, right? Because, because you, have to, you have to go to the, the basis of any brick wall is the brick, right? Individual brick, just like the basis of any group of people is the individual. So the real diversity exists at the level of the individual, but the hucksters of diversity never talk about this because they don't want the individualism. If you look at their actions and what they're calling for, it's more top-down authoritarianism to get everybody to conform to a certain standard, and that is the opposite of individualism. So be aware of that. Be aware that there's hucksters of all sorts trying to sell stuff to you and get you to conform to their ways. They're going to try to put the pitch on you that it's best for you, but it's not necessarily because we're each different in a very diversified way. We all have our inner genius that we can explore, discover, and bring to, um, to much greater value in our lives. Hopefully this is helpful, uh, sharing of these ideas. Steve here again, great chatting. Talk again soon. Bye for now.